Oh, camera angles for days. Hey guys, Vimpick here, back with another review. Today we are looking at this, the Perseus RDTA from uh, Vandy Vape, from Vandy Vape. This is their new RDTA. We've been out a little while. I suppose I've been a little bit slow getting to it, I guess. Um, we recently looked at the Merlin, which I said took RDTAs onto another level in terms of they broke through that innovation barrier that seemed to hit the RDTA scene. Um, this RDTA features a lot of the things that uh, that the Merlin has, and it even has a couple of extra things as well. It's 24 mil diameter. Very good looking, in my opinion. 24 mil diameter, 4 mil capacity. Um, you can fit huge, huge coils in here, and it has goon style tips. Uh, I'm going to take it down low. I'm going to show you all around it. I'll do a little wicking wicktage montage, <laughs> and uh, then we'll come back up top for the pros and cons. I'll see you in a second. All right, ladies and gentle hens, this is the Perseus RDTA from Vandy Vape. Perseus TBD stuff. Uh, stainless steel is available in black as well Some good stuff on the back all that good stuff. Anyway um, <clears throat> The items of note in the packaging are uh, it comes with all these awesome uh, Goon sized drip tips just just ace just cool <laughs> a black one wouldn't have gone amiss though I would have said um, but there you go uh, awesome you get a spare glass tank and the other thing worth showing you underneath is uh, you can use a uh, single coil. You can turn it into single coil, coil mode using that majiggy. So that is good. Happy days. Goon drip tips all round. Uh, so this is it. 4mm capacity, 24mm wide. Um, <clears throat> airflow coming from underneath. We'll get to that. Um, goon drip tip here comes off. Can't be bothered. Uh, but it does, <laughs> it does come off, trust me. Um, so you air, your air is going in here and uh, it is firing up underneath the coils and that is adjustable there look it's on both sides as well um okay so one unique feature about this you'll see there is a tiny little padlock on there and there's a tiny little unlocked padlock there so to actually get the cap off you can't just rip it off like a lot of rdtas um what you do is you turn it to the unlock position and then it will come off it won't come off if you don't uh, do that and when you're putting it back together you uh, you put the airflow back where that unlock lock is you turn it all the way to locked and then you pull it back to your required airflow so that's how that works uh, pretty good uh, there's this there's a use case for that I suppose uh, the people might not be happy with the top coming off you know uh, willy-nilly uh, in their pocket perhaps I don't know if we look at the cap, you can see it's quite nicely domed. Uh, there's no ring there, part of what's holding it on here, as well as the locking mechanism. Uh, but there you go, yeah, nice little domed cap, and the flavour is very good, I will say. This is the deck. Try not to look too closely at the uh, janky coils I was just messing about. But uh, as you can see, huge post holes, and you can now see where uh, the airflow is going. It's going in that hole there. It's coming up right underneath the coil. Uh, the next thing probably to notice is it has the uh, Phillips head screws on here, four of them, huge post holes, huge, huge post holes. Uh, you can put whatever you flipping like in here. It's absolutely massive. You can also do your coiling all different ways. You can go like I have outside to inside, or you can just do two on the inside or two on the outside because this is a positive block and that is a negative block. So happy days, happy days. The next thing to notice when looking at this is how much humongous wicking space you have. And that really is the best thing about this. They've long, are the de long gone are the days that you're poking a bit of wick down a tiny hole. You can now smother this in cotton, which is what I'm going to do. We're going to do a little wick. Um, looking around, glass ta tank section there. Nice protruding uh, 510 pin. Good to see that. Um, Happy days. Let's attach it to a mod and uh, wick it right up. See you up top.
Okay, guys, that was the Perseus RDTA from Vandy Vape up close. Uh, this is what it vapes like, uh, airflow fully open. And that is at 75 watts, incredibly tasty, very nice vape. Feels nice and swooshy, it's not the quietest tank in the world, but the actual airflow does feel very smooth and very unrestricted. Um, so, let's uh, let's get into it. I've only got a couple of slight negatives. Uh, one thing I didn't show you up close, although you may have seen in the montage, is to fill it, there's just a tiny gap under the deck, on the side of the deck, and you just stick your nozzle in that hole and uh, fill it up, you know, so don't be confused by that. Um, so, yeah, so, negatives, only a couple. Uh, so very, very subjective. The locking feature that I showed you, uh, where you twist it and pull it off, and you can't just pull it off normally, um, that'll be very subjective. Some people will really like that they can just rip the cap off the RDTA like an RDA. Um, and some people will be begging for that feature. They'll be crying out for that feature. They'll be like, I've got it in my pocket. And every time I pull it out of my pocket, the cap comes off and the mod stays in the pocket. So some people will like that and some people won't. Um, I'm a bit on the fence with it, really. I don't tend to take my RDTAs out and about. Um, don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, that one's, that one's on you. Um... Another negative, uh, where do where do I go with this? Where do I go with this? Um, the post holes, right? The post holes. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. The post holes. They are so big. They are so so big. Um, and I get it. I get why. I get why they're so so big. Um, they're so so big because you may want to put wire in both strands from both coils in the in one hole because of the options on the deck but they're so so big that I don't think I can recommend this for round wire builds um, it's just it's the amount of tightening on a Phillips head required uh, I don't know if it'll be too much too too much I don't know I don't know um, but that is a thing that is a thing let me just uh, lock this back up and turn it around and back again. There we go. Okay. Final slight negative uh, is the airflow. Uh, the, again, super subjective. Not a problem for me. Maybe for you though. So I do want to point it out. It ain't the biggest. It ain't the biggest ever airflow. It, not us. Not at all. Not the biggest airflow uh, by a mile. Uh, I like it fully open, and I like the vape fully open. But some of you may want more air. So just take that in with your mind's eye. Uh, it may not be enough air for you. It is for me. Beyond that, beyond that, I think it is immense. A lovely vape. A lovely, lovely vape. Really, really like the vape. Because of those huge wick slots, it just wicks so beautifully. You can rag this. I'm at 75 watts. You can absolutely rag this. Uh, it's tremendous, tremendous. Uh, the flavour is great, it vapes great, it looks great. I would say if I was pitting this against the Merlin, the one thing that sets this apart, I think, is I think it's a really good looking RDTA. The Merlin was very sort of subjective looking, uh, but this one, I don't think many people would say that this is not a good looking RDTA. Very good looking indeed. Um, four mil capacity is great, comes with a spare glass tank, that's great. It fits goon style drip tips, which is great. It has an adapter for 510 drip tips, which is great. Um, Looks great, vapes great, works great, easy to build on. Uh, it's just fantastic. It's a fantastic RDTA, in my opinion. If you're looking for an RDTA and you've not got one, then don't look any further than the Perseus RDTA from Vandy Vape. If you've already got one and you're happy with, if, and you're happy with your RDTA, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say you need this. I wouldn't say it's a whole new level of vape quality. Um, but if you're in the market for a new RDTA. I think this is probably the best cloudy one out there. There's some really nice lower power ones, uh, like the Serpent, like the Origeni, and all that sort of stuff. But this one, if you want a big cloud one, I think this is the best, best big cloud RDTA on the market right now. I've been Vaden Vic, and I'll see you again soon.